Hello. Today we're going to uh, practice drawing a camel using the grid GRID technique. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and draw this camel here. And what you do, this is going to be a lesson. It's going to be a lesson on how to draw using the grid technique again. And in this case, we're going to use inches so what you would do is you would go ahead and square out your subject matter and and in this case we would measure from one side to the other if you have a uh, little t square like I do here you know you would go ahead and measure it and if we go from the end of the hind legs to the nose out uh, here at the front, we would go ahead and since we're going to use inches, I would measure and make a dot at every inch on this one here. So there's a dot there. So that's four dots and a quarter of an inch. I will do the same thing going down. inch, two inches, three inches, four inches, make dots, and quarter of an inch. Then I would go ahead and draw my lines, meaning my dots, and in this case I'm going to draw them darker so you can see them. Now uh, as the lesson goes on, you can pause or you can fast forward so that you can work the video at your advantage and in this case I would measure from the edge of the paper here up this way and get the measurement to the bottom of the hoofs here and then go up and in this case we would measure up three and a half inches so I will make a I'm going to make some marks at three and a half inches. I'm going to make it where we can see them. I'm going to do them out on the side here. So there's one inch, make a dot, two inches, make a dot, three inches, make a dot, and three and a half, half an inch there. I will go over the same and do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to have this as a lesson. This is a lesson on how to draw using the grid technique. And with this here is like if um, it's going to be like working with dots when you were in elementary, when you were younger. So now I'm going to draw my lines across at every inch. So now I have and I have my grid and this is what's going to help us by setting points. So what we're going to do look for is this intersections of the vertical and the horizontal line segments. Now it's an easier way of drawing um, and again this is a lesson and in this case we're using inches. is our measurement. So now you have to determine what is the paper that I'm working with. What is the surface that I'm working with? How big is it? How big is your drawing? How? What's the size of your drawing or canvas or whatever? Now, if I measure my paper, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, let me see here. If I measure my paper, it's 11. Okay, so we get our little piece of paper here. Our paper is 11. 
okay in this case horizontal and then eight and a half vertical and my drawing is four and a quarter horizontal and three and a half vertical so I want to draw it twice the size twice the size so now instead of having four and a quarter okay horizontal four and a quarter horizontal I'm going to so it's four and a quarter horizontal Four and a quarter horizontal twice because I'm gonna draw it twice the size so it's two times simplify so it's eight and a half so my my picture is gonna be eight and a half but horizontal we have 11 inches so I take 11 inches minus eight and a half so this becomes 10 and this will be 2 over 2 and we take this minus is 1 half and then 2 so and but I have two sides one side here one side here so I divide this in half which is two sides it's going to be 1 and a quarter so now if I go here on the paper I go ahead and go on one side one and a quarter there's one inch and a quarter okay. I'm going to uh, see we can see it there and then I go eight and a half because this is four and four and a, and a quarter well twice is four and eight and a half so I go eight and a half if I did it right I should have one and a quarter on the opposite side so we measure and there it is one and a quarter so I'm I'm sure that is right twice the size so I now I'm going to do the vertical lines one and a quarter and then eight and a half draw my line my vertical line here So now we said we have the two sides. This here, this lines here, or this lines. Now we have to establish this ones here. So if I have three and a half from here to here, we go three and a half, twice the size like we did over here. Two of the same or equals is one whole, so that becomes seven. But my paper is eight. Eight, eight and a half. Vertical. I had written eight over here, but it's eight and a half. I'm sorry about that. So now, what is, what is uh, uh, half of that? What, what is going to be the, excuse me, what is going to be the, the space here and the space here but the space that is going to be occupied is seven inches so now I subtract seven from eight and a half okay so this comes down and this comes here so half half of uh, if we if we take the quarter the ones the one into fractions it's four over four and two this one half is two quarters so I can take that and it's gonna be f six quarters half of six quarters is three quarters so let's see if it's true let's find out so now I go three quarters down one uh, look can you see it one two three make my dot one two three go over the opposite side one two three draw my line
now we're gonna go three and a half twice equals seven so now I go seven here's seven let me see if I can see the lines okay seven and then one two three quarters there it is so we did it right <clears throat> There you go. So now that space is twice the size of this. Okay. I'm going to measure now one inch, two inch, uh, uh, three and four. But now here it's going to be two, every two. So it's two, four, six, eight. So now it's every two. So I go one. Two, three, four, two, one, four, two, six, three, eight, four. So that's one, two, three, four. And then what's left? So now I'm going to draw my vertical line segments. Now I'm going to start from the bottom up because it's, it's easier for me. Uh, you can start from the top down, doesn't matter. But I'm going to start from the bottom up, the same thing. Every inch here is going to be two over here. There is one, four, six. So one, two, three, one, two, three. I use this other ruler maybe it's easier for me to see there you go two four six now in my case I'm drawing uh, a little darker than you would do on your own because this way it shows on the, on the video This is one of the easiest ways to draw, but it's really not official, but it does help us in understanding proportions. So now we have the working space. So what do I do now? Well now, all I do is I look and see where the intersections. So this piece here is this piece here. So I estimate, There's, it, it doesn't mean that I don't have, I can't change it. I'm going to use another pencil to point where I'm doing my dots. So I'm going to look for the intersections of the line segments and the body or the contour of the camel. So I'm going to get a little closer and I'll focus in a little bit more. There you go. There he is. Okay. So now I look and see here. And I estimate visually, if you want to get it super perfect, then you would measure the distance here. But you don't want to do that because eventually you want to get out of the grid technique if you can. So you would measure it. Maybe you can use a metric system or you can use the standard. So in this case, it's a quarter from the top line to the intersection. So it would be about half. So there it is. It's a little off. So, but you're estimating, so here we go. Okay, so now I'm looking at this part here and I go and check, and you can also check the angle. It's about here. Then the back side, the back side here intersects the second line going down about maybe quarter of an inch. Again, you're estimating. 
Now notice the fold here. It's about here. Then a little bit here. Okay. And we'll say and pretend that this is touching here. Okay, so that would be about ooh, about here. So we're making our marks. Then this part here, we have it. And then notice that it's not half ways, but just a little off a little bit. And again, these are just estimations. This one here appears to be a little lower than this one. So I'm going to go about here, which is this one. Then this one. Then it comes on this line about halfway. Then it comes here. And the ear touches about here, approximately. Then his nose about here so now let's go ahead and sketch in that part so I'm gonna start here lightly drawing it then it arches about halfway the hump goes up here and it drops And then we show a little bit here. Then he humps a little over. And then he kind of curves. And it kind of makes a U. Then he goes up. And he goes round. I'm looking at the spaces here. Remember, you're not drawing any think concrete by for now you're just estimating okay and then let's go to the back side over here I'm looking at this part here it's about drops like this and then the knee part to the back side goes out this way then it angles a little bit Mm, about there. So I imagine the line here. Then this distance here is twice the size, so I would say about here. Then it drops out this way. Okay. So now we kind of have the contour there. Let's draw the tail. So this, this is the line here. We go to this line, and the line the tail starts up here a little bit. Then it angles to the bottom part, touches about here, and it goes out this side. Okay? Now, let's concentrate on the head a little bit. Let's take the ear. The ear, if we look at it, it angles out this way. The eye angles a little bit and it's right on the side here by half ways. Now you could still break this down into further grids, into further squares, spaces, so that you become more detailed. So notice this part here, the jaw here, a little higher here, and then this part here. Round soft some. Again, we're not uh, perfecting anything yet. We're just drawing the uh, contour of it. Notice the space here. It's about a quarter inch here. It hits about a quarter up. Round soft. Kind of. Okay. Okay, we'll come back for perfection in just a minute. So now I'm going to look and see, look at this space here. It's about one two eighths. 
So I'm going to bring it about here. And this here, this square here, I would say it's, it's about ooh, just a little bit less than half. And it angles. And it drops and it comes about here. And then this part of the hoof is about here. And it angles this way a little bit. The knee callus part goes here. Okay, and we give a little thickness here. Then it comes about here. This section here again we'll visually it goes in it drops arches a little bit and this is right there. Then we see that there's a space in here and this part it's about half ways and it comes down. And this part is section behind of this line. It goes over just on the line itself. And then it has a certain thickness. So we go about here. And notice that it's in here, up in here. down an angle arches in then the stomach section the stomach section kind of goes and it's almost starts here and it drops around here but the stomach runs into the square here about and it kind of arches here and it comes and hits here and then this part here the hind leg is approximately a little above the half line and the folding part of the leg goes here it comes out and this side goes through here and hits over here This comes here and we look at the angle and now it's starting to give us the shape our our camel so now we start looking start comparing checking and we can start adjusting now I'm moving my picture around for the for the uh, your sake that you can see where I'm going and what I'm doing but otherwise I would have it up in front somewhere so you adjust it to your needs so now I
So you're constantly adjusting to to your needs. Well, you know what? You don't worry about erasing out. So we'll we want to get that little space in there. And as you practice more and more, and you want to draw it freehand, which I would suggest you learn to draw freehand. Would be best. In your brain, uh, it's unbelievable, but your brain can really, really be your measurements is without lines. But it takes patience, it takes practice, it just doesn't happen. Okay, so now we start looking at our values, the, the shape, the inner parts of the camel. The muscles, the muscles, okay this here, I would bring this a little more just around. So you just keep on adjusting until you're satisfied. Well, let's go to the head over here. Okay, we go here. Okay, so now let's look and compare a little bit. And now let's go ahead and see if we can work some of the values, some of the shading that they, they have on this. Again, this is a lesson, uh, a quick, great lesson uh, that will help us in better drawing. Eventually, with practice, you don't have to use the grid and you erase all those lines. So now I'm going to get a uh, another drawing pencil and I'm going to try to work some of the shadings in there. I'm going to make more definite, definite lines. Okay, so I'm going to kind of concentrate over here. And see we can get the angle of the eye here and again we're not working any super detail we're just working with shading the shadows okay here
Now we'll just add our own interpretation of this. We're getting too much, too much hair. So now you just go ahead and now you get an idea as to how to use this grit. And it very quickly gives you a uh, kind of very accurate proportioned subject. And this is again just a study, it's not a, a very realistic, very detailed drawing. So that there gives you a very quick um, idea as to what the grid technique is. And then you would erase your lines. And there you have your quick drawing of your camel using the grid technique. And then you would add your background, your subject matter, and so on. Okay? There you go. So I hope, hope that this uh, has given you an idea as to how to draw your grid. Use a grid technique for a quick... Uh, drawing and then you would add your own subject matter and background and so on there you go so I hope that you learned something and let me just kind of back off a little bit and there's our Camp. I hope you enjoyed it and give me a thumbs up and thank you again.